Hey everybody, Daniel Rubino here with Windows Central. We're at IFA 2018 and I'm very excited about this. This is going to be the Lenovo Yoga C630. It is coming out later this fall around November and it's a Windows 10 on ARM device running a Snapdragon 850. I'm going to give you a quick tour. Stay tuned. Looking at the display here, it's full HD, 13 by 3 inches. It does support touch and pen and inking. The pen is not included in the box, so it will be extra, which I think makes sense on this kind of device. There is a web camera on top as well. It seems to be pretty decent. There's a little bit of wobble here, but this isn't the final build of this device, so we'll have to wait and see. Plus, this does turn into a full tablet. Looking closely at the deck here, we have a really nice keyboard that is backlit, Lenovo's chiclet key style. Feels very nice for typing, no issue. I'm really happy to see though, top firing speakers here on the deck, which should give you really good audio in whatever mode you're using, especially in tablet. Should be pretty good for sound. We do also have a fingerprint reader, so no Windows Hello facial recognition, but you do get a fingerprint reader for logging in. Looking at the trackpad, it's a nice large one. It is precision drivers, and I've had no issue with it so far. In terms of specifications, this does ship with Qualcomm Snapdragon 850. This is going to be one of the first devices on the market with it. Uh, feels very snappy. For those of you wondering how is it much faster, yeah, it actually does feel pretty much uh, quicker than the Snapdragon 835. Knowing that this device will ship with 4 gigabytes of RAM or 8 gigabytes, this model we're using here is actually 8, and you get 128 or 250 gigabytes of storage as well. Turning to the left-hand side of the device, we do have a slot here for the SIM card. This also supports eSIM out of the box, so that'd be really nice. And we get a Type-C 3.1 port for power and data. There's also a small LED to let you know it's charging. On the right-hand side, we have a dedicated power button, which is going to be on the side because as a tablet, you want to be able to have access to that all the time. Headphone jack, and this time we'll get a second Type-C port, which will be really nice. Also supports power delivery and data. All right, I've been spending a few minutes with this device and I'm really impressed with it. First of all, the build quality is excellent. It is all metal, aluminum specifically, but it has a finish to it that's sort of soft touch, so it's not very cold or feels like harsh metal. It just feels really nice in the hands. It's very light too, and it has a massive battery. We're talking 61 watt hours. And to put that in perspective, the Mix 630, their other Windows 10 on ARM device, had a 48 watt hour battery. So they're expecting around 25 hours of real world usage out of this. If you want to be more conservative, I say you should probably get at least seven but this will be better than any other Windows 10 on ARM device we've seen so far. Plus that Snapdragon 850 is supposed to be more power efficient. Now we are expecting around 20 to 30% power improvement over the current Snapdragon 835. Other than that though, I think it's a great form factor. And starting at $850, that's really an interesting proposition now for students and people who need an always connected PC that's also very light and thin. It's also a traditional laptop, but that can act as a tablet when they need it. So here's a quick look at the Lenovo Yoga C630. Comes out in November and a couple variations. It starts at $850 and we'll of course be giving it a full review. Let me know in comments what you think and if you'll be picking up this holiday. Thanks for watching. Take care everybody.